Max Holloway will beat Justin Gagey. Max Holloway will become the BMF. Max Holloway is about the same size as Justin Gagey, okay? Max Holloway is probably a better striker, lands more shots, okay? Relax. Don't come for me. These are not the words of Michael Bisping, UFC Hall of Famer and commentator extraordinaire. No. These are the words of one Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Of course, he knows these guys very well. He's fought Max Holloway twice and he's fought Justin Gagey twice. So if anybody knows them as much as their mother or what they can provide inside an octagon, okay, it's Dustin Poirier. And he did an interview this week and that is what he had to say. He said, look, listen, when it comes to this fight for the BMF at UFC 300, I respect both guys, both the great fighters, but I think I would put my money on Max. I see a lot of people online saying that Max is undersized, but Max is a big guy. Him and Gagey probably walk around at the same way. Max isn't a small guy. And the striking, the timing of Max, his range, his durability, it's a coin toss. But if I was betting, I would bet on Max. Now, when you've spent as much time as Dustin Poirier has with these guys, right? Intimately, in the octagon, absorbing punches to the face, feeling their strength, their durability, et cetera, et cetera, then you know, okay? He knows better than me. Of course he does. But also, his judgment might be clouded just a little bit because it's only natural. Anytime a fighter beats a fighter, you always want them to go on and win. Now, of course, he beat Justin Gagey, okay? But he beat Max Holloway twice. Last time Poirier fought, he was knocked out against Justin Gagey. So... I don't know about this. I'm just saying it's a little bit of amateur psychology here, but it's possible that in the mind of Dustin Poirier, he doesn't want Justin Gagey to knock him out and then also get a victory over Max Holloway, a person that Poirier is also beaten. And in a weird roundabout way, and trust me, I know what I'm talking about. This is how we fighters think, okay? If Holloway beats Gagey, it makes Poirier look good, okay? But to be fair, Poirier does bring up some good points. They're both 5'11", right? And when you look at the jaw of Max Holloway, he's never been knocked out. And he has been in there with some of the best fighters on planet Earth, okay? The punch count, the amount of shots that he lands, that he throws. He's got so many records. He's landed the most strikes, the most headshots, the most body shots. The man is an output machine. The volume of numbers that he throws is ridiculous. The cardio is second to none. I mean, I can't really think of a time when he got tired, okay? But does he have the power of a Justin Gagey? Because that's the big differentiator here. Joe Rogan even said recently, he doesn't like this fight for Max Holloway. Because guess what? If Taporia does what he says he's going to do and goes out there and beats Alexander Volkanovsky in one round and becomes the featherweight champion of the world, well, guess what? The door is open. Max Holloway can just... Walk on in. He can do the Conor McGregor walk and get another title fight. And who knows against Taporia, every fight style is different, okay? Styles make fights. We could see him as the champion again. But he's potentially going to lose that opportunity if he loses to Justin Gagey. Now, first and foremost, Holloway doesn't think he's going to lose. Of course, he's a fighter and he's one of the best in the world. You don't have that mindset. You believe in yourself. And by the way, I really respect Max Holloway for even taking this fight because... Joe Rogan's right. He doesn't need to do this. But the reason Max Holloway is doing this is because he wants to test himself. As fighters, not knowing you can win a fight is what really floats our boat, is what gets the adrenaline flowing. That's what gets you out of bed in the morning. You think, shit, I got to run. I got to lift weights. I got to spar. I got to bring in the best guys possible because you've got a huge mountain to climb. And that mountain is the human highlight reel, Justin Gagey, the man that just knocked out Dustin Poirier, a man that is scheduled for another lightweight title shot at some point soon. Holloway doesn't know he can beat him. And that's what gets him excited about this fight. The opportunity to go out there and shock the world and prove everybody wrong. People like me, people like Joe Rogan, and probably most people, including the bookies. Because even though Poirier says that if he was to bet, which he can't because that's f***ing illegal. But if he was to, he would probably put his money on Max Holloway, okay? But I'm sure the bookies have Max Holloway as an underdog, and I understand why. Yes, they're both 5'11", and yeah, they got similar reach. I think Justin Gage is 70, Max Holloway 69, so they're about the same there. But 155ers are bigger than 145ers. It's as simple as that. And we saw it before when Max Holloway came up and fought Poirier at 155 for the interim title. Didn't go his way, okay? Because he doesn't hit quite as hard. Max Holloway, for all the talents that he has, and he is one of the best boxers in the UFC. Boxing, it's an accumulation effect. That's how he takes people out of there. Or he just wins by decision. He cruises to a decision. I mean, the beatdown that he put on 
Calvin Cater was just unbelievable, okay? One of the most dominant displays ever against a tremendous fighter in Calvin Cater. Not throwing any shade at him. So nobody's questioning the ability of Max Holloway. And even though I just said a moment ago that if he loses to Gagey, the, he forfeits a title shot at 145, that's not set in stone, right? Because outside of Volkanovski, right now, he's still the next best featherweight because if Volkanovski goes out there and destroys Taporia, right, in one round, makes it look easy, and I'm sure for all the talk of Taporia, that's getting Volkanovski going. He wants to get the job done. He wants to silence the critics. He wants to shut up all the haters. He wants to prove everyone wrong that he can come back in four months from getting knocked out against Islam Makachev and get the job done and beat the number one contender. Well, if Volkanovski does that, then Max Holloway, as I said, gets the title fight. But regardless, what do you think? I think Justin Gagey probably wins the fight. But I'll tell you what, I respect Max Holloway for having the balls to try this, okay? Because as I said, that's what a real man does, okay? You don't pick your fights. You don't manufacture fights that you know you can win. Because where's the excitement in that, right? It's boring. If you know or you've got a real good hunch, right? If you've looked at your opponent and you sit down with your team and you go, you, you assess everything and you're like, I can beat this guy. Where's the excitement in that? Where's the challenge? What gets you up at night, okay? Because it ain't that. It ain't beating guys that you know you can beat. It's beating guys that you don't know. Like when I fought Anderson Silva or when I stepped in for the title against Luke Rockhold on two weeks' notice. I'm not bringing myself into it. What I'm doing is I'm talking about my own experiences. That is what excites you. And when it's all said and done, when the legendary career of Max Holloway is over, he wants to be able to look at himself in the mirror and say, you know what? I fought the very best and I took on the toughest challenges possible. And for that, you've got to respect Max Holloway. Because I tell you what, when you look at the career of this man, the people that he's fought and beat, Chang Sung Jung retired the Korean zombie. Arnold Allen, 11 fight win streak, I believe. Yeah, he lost three times to Alexander Volkanovsky, but he beat along the way. Yeah, Rodriguez destroyed Calvin Cater. Frankie Edgar lost the decision to Dustin Poirier. Brian Ortega, Jose Aldo twice. Anthony Pettis, Ricardo Lamas, Charles Oliveira. I mean, Max Holloway is some man and you just absolutely have to respect this guy. But I got to respectfully disagree with Dustin Poirier on this one because I think maybe he's letting his emotions cloud his judgment. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. A lot of the time I do. I'm making this shit up as I go along. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and ring the bell if you're still here, please. And I will see you soon.